the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Doyin Okokbe, has withdrawn as the running mate to the former Anambra State Governor and the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, ahead of the 2023 general elections. Okokbe's withdrawal is not a surprise, having announced earlier in June that he was a placeholder in the vice president slot. According to Okokbe, on Thursday, a replacement will be announced shortly by Barrister Julius Abiri, the national chairman of the party. This afternoon, I submitted my withdrawal letter from the position of the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party to INEC. A replacement will be announced by a national chairman of the party shortly. I feel greatly blessed to have been part of the foundation of focus for the Labour Party, Okokbe wrote on his Twitter handle. Dati Baba Ahmed has been identified as a possible running mate to Peter Obi. He is the founder of Bazi University, Abuja. Sahara reporters had on June 17 reported that Okokbe, the former special assistant on media and publicity to the former president Olusegun Obasanjo, said he was standing in for the running mate to Obi. In an interview with Channel's TV, he had said, I am standing in as the vice presidential candidate of the party, Labour Party, has submitted my name as the vice president of the party. Our idea is to bring up the largest political coalition ever in the history of Nigeria because we are facing two giants, the APC and the PDP. We cannot work alone. We need to put up a coordination, and it is important for us to ensure all stakeholders are carried along. The choosing of the vice president candidate is an electoral process which does not stop until the process is end. We believe that the Labour Party coming to rule Nigeria is essentially going to be about young Nigerians. I am willing to put down my back so young people can come to the top. The decision of Labour Party to use Okukbe is to comply with the Nigerian constitution. <laughs> wow. Peter Obi and his team is organized. That is just it. Labour Party is a true future of how our new Nigeria will look like. A party where a true democrat display political game with true spirit devoid of religious bigots and ethnocentric politicians plotting religious game to kill their party and future of Nigeria. With Labour Party, we will succeed. Sensible and highly considerate Southern people know any form of bigotry but wit. The unfortunate people we are sharing Nigeria with, they believe they should dominate all the time without any knowledge of competency. May God deliver us soon from this bondage. First time I am seeing a politician in Nigeria withdrawing for the interest of the party and the masses. They said Obi is a, a social media president and we only win on social media. But the thought of Obi keep giving them sleepless nights and he has become the talk and the topic of all the opposition candidates and their supporters. And they said he cannot win. These are reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. And they will come online with their Peter Obi supporters this, obedient supporters that. Yeah, yeah. But they won't see how they first insult a man who never personally hurt them. Then, when his supporters return some measure, shaking together and running over, they crawl out with their blabbling and shouting and all that. This time we give it to them back to back. This single heart signifies him as a man of integrity. 
or like the killers of Nigerian economy who will never keep to their ways. Auntie, you venture into Mr. Obi thinking boss. Then you will see this new Nigeria. Obi is a mighty rushing wind. Nigerians' enemies of progress are still looking for structure. Respect, sir. Teach them back to back. This is how politics is being played abroad. A new Nigeria is possible. We can do it. Yes, we can. Don't vote for those who will rule Nigeria from their house in Dubai again. Don't vote for those who will rule Nigeria from sick bed in France or in UK. Nigerians have suffered enough. Let us reclaim our nation for the sake of our children and our born children. Just like Caesar entering Roman, Tunubu come and saw, and he will conquer by the grace of Almighty God. With Tunubu as a president, Nigeria and Nigerians will surely witness through delicious soup of democracy. We need Tunubu more than he needs us. Nigeria is like sinking ship. It's in the middle of <laughs> the Sephiri Ocean before our mentor, Buhari, come and save us with all of Almighty God. President Buhari takes us to the gates of promised land, better Nigeria, and defender, builder of modern democracy. Tunubu will take us inside the promised land, better Nigeria. On Tunubu's mandate, we all shall stand. Hmm. These are reactions by Nigerians. Please, what did Tunubu do with the billion vans that was found in his house? Lest I forget, what exactly did he do when Nigerian youth was killed in Lekki Gate? What exactly did he do? Honestly speaking, that is a very great question you should answer. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.